Chapter 5 Basic Spring Training Routine for Benningers When you first get into spring training, you will only be able to sprint for two days of the week because of the high level of intensity involved in sprinting. However, as your body improves and can handle more, you may be able to move up to three days per week. On those days, you will want to closely follow this spring training routine for Benningers. 1. Warm up Before you push your muscles to the max, you need to get them ready by warming up. There are a number of warm-ups that you can do to separate the sprint, so you can swap out some of these for similar activities to suit your needs and preferences. What's important is that you take the time to warm up before you begin sprinting. Briefly walk or jog for 10 minutes. If you are on a track, go around twice. Be sure to be practicing your sprinting form as much as possible during this. Find a vertical surface to do a forward and sideways wall swings. You'll want to do at least 10 of each with each of your legs. Do high knees by running in place for one minute while getting your knees up as high as possible. Do butt kicks by running in place for one minute while kicking your butt with your heels. Finish off with some bodyweight lungs for about one minute for each leg. 2. Interval Training Sprint training has to be done through interval training, which means you change your pace and work out intervals, rather than simply going hard for the entire training session. It's important to give your body time to rest and recover between sprints. We're going to give you two ways to break up this part of the training into intervals, one based on time and the other on distance. Method 1. Distance Note, this method works best if you are using a standard 400 meter track to train on. Sprint for 400 meters, one complete lap. Walk for 400 meters. Sprint for 200 meters, one straight side and one curve of the track. Walk for 200 meters. Sprint 100 meters, either one straight side or one curve. Walk for 100 meters. Method 2. Time. Sprint for 1.30 minutes. Walk for 1.30 minutes. Sprint for 1 minute. Walk for 1 minute. Sprint for 30 seconds and walk for 30 seconds. 3. Cool down. Equally important as the warming up, Cooling down properly will help your muscles relax back to normal without becoming knotted or tense. There are so many stretches you can do for each of the major muscle groups you will be working on, so pick a couple for each group that work well for you and do those during each of these parts of the cool down. Slowly jog or briskly walk for 15 minutes or two complete laps of the track. Stretch your hamstrings, stretch your quads, stretch your glutes, stretch your calves stretch your abductors, and stretch your abdominals. In the next part of the course, we're going to focus even more on recovery options for sprinting training.